All right, guys, welcome to The Fish Room and yet another video. Videos every week. If you don't already know that, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell notification below this video. But for right now, we're going to look at some Luanda behavior from this weekend, which is pretty cool because I've not had this group too long and they are very, very small. 33 gallon, three sponge filters. Let's take a look. So guys, first thing, a little backstory, get home from work, I think it was last Friday, I believe, and this guy's flexing and just moving around the tank, just looking pretty nice. I mean, look at the coloration that he's showing for a 1.5, two inch fish, I'd probably say two inches now, but between the coloration and his fins, just a crazy, crazy fish and pretty stoked that this is happening to be fair. But this was Friday, he's just roaming around the tank, flexing and looking mighty fine. If you guys can't remember, I got this Luanda and the rest of the group from John's Quality Cichlids. I'll leave a card up above if you want to check out that video. I got a Luanda group, I got some Walter Eye and I got this guy's father, Luanda, that's now in the 125. He's an absolute beast, so if you want to check out where they came from, you can. But Back onto this one, Jallow Reefs and Luandas. This guy's just looking awesome. And the next day, which was Saturday or Sunday, might have been two days later, we've got some pretty interesting behavior in the tank. So let's look at that. But for anyone that might be interested in buying any of these Luandas off me, obviously that guy's not for sale, but I've got probably about three or four males. Hit me up in the comments or contact me on Instagram and maybe we can figure something out. But let's have a look at this guy's weekend behavior. He was definitely on the prowl. I came in Saturday or Sunday, can't remember which day it was, but as you can see, every other fish, he's on one side of the tank, and this guy is just acting a little bit wild, chasing the majority of the fish all to that side of the tank and trying to separate one. If you know African cichlids, I'm sure you can hazard a guess as to why. So let's take a look at some more of this behavior and see what's going on. As I'm sure many of you have guessed by now, the breeding. The female is maybe 1.5 inch, 1.75. This guy, two, maybe 2.25 and they're getting it on, which is incredibly interesting for me as I've never had fish this young breeding. If you've got African cichlids or you breed African cichlids, let me know down in the comments the youngest fish that you've seen breed, whether it being a male or a female, because this for me is pretty interesting. So let's get back to it. So I'm not sure what you guys think, but I, it looks like he's playing hard to get. Like he'll come over and the female will be interested. She'll want to get on the little breeding rock that he's got in there and then he just swims off. 
pretty interesting to see as I always thought that the males kind of submitted the females <laughs> into making them breed whereas in this situation it looks like you know he's caught her eye with all that flexing and then he's not bothered but this behavior seemed to go on for about an hour and a half two hours and apparently it can go on for days sometimes um, imagining that it didn't go on for days just because she's such a small female so she hasn't got many eggs I am gonna be stripping her not necessarily to see how many eggs I get but I'm just interested you know maybe she's holding four maybe she's holding 12 maybe it's a miraculous 25 egg hatch but I highly doubt it so I'll let you know what happens with that gonna be doing that today so pretty interesting just thought I'd show you this guys let me know what you think in the comments to this have you seen fish this young breed and let me know what you think to this behavior you know as I said the male looks like he he got her intrigued and then it's more her that's waiting for him to come back after he's chased all the other fish in the tank so kind of interesting but really really nice fish and I'm looking forward to breeding these in the future especially once this male gets fully grown out and the females can hold hopefully up to 25 30 eggs at a time but after a while of back and forth these two decide to consummate the marriage and actually do the usual breeding behavior and what some people call the breeding dance so let's have a look at that and this in layman's terms is basically when fertilization occurs So I hope you enjoyed that footage guys of these two breeding. The female's now got a little mouthful of eggs. The male's settled down a little bit but he's still uh, chasing quite a lot of the fish as you can see. This tank, 33 gallon, three sponge filters, temperature about 78 degrees and seems to be working really really well. Especially if it's enticing these guys that two two and a half inches maybe to breed so pretty excited about that jello reefs are growing out nicely as well and we've also got a little stud under there in the background that's got some really really nice fins so like i said halfway through the video if you're interested in any of these luandas i can definitely pick out a male or two for you if you need having said that i've only got probably four or five so if you are interested hit me up either on here or instagram Jello Reef male looking nice as well. Look at that guy. Might even be able to put him in the 125 soon if he grows out a little more. Try and get him growing a little faster in that tank. But the female is hiding in the little flower pot. Trying to get away from the male because he has been a little jerk for the past few hours. So I'm sure she's enjoying her time away from him. But as I said, I'll let you know what happens with the pulling of the eggs see how many I get hopefully they'll be fertile and maybe I'll keep them and see how they do be interesting to see if they grow at different rates because of their parents being so young maybe that's a little uh, experiment that we can do but scanning over to a few other tanks real quick Walter I doing really really good I'll bring you a video on these guys in the future absolutely buzzing for those to grow out plant a tank just farm tank trying out some new plants in there looking good DIY light, let me know if you want a little video about that. It's pretty interesting how it's still growing these plants even though it's a little botched job. But that's all I've got for you today. Luanda still not being too friendly, but we'll let him off. Especially if he carries on looking like that, as he's looking just a little nice. Anyway, leave this video a like if you've enjoyed it, if you've watched till the end. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support. I never did a thank you for 3,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. But our aim is 5,000. So if you can help me 
get to that, share these videos, like these videos, comment on them. I would really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching.